You are now viewing the setup tutorial for the Evans Hybrid Sensory Percussion Sound System, powered by Sunhouse. Congratulations on taking your first steps into your sonic universe. This video will walk you through everything you need to start creating from your throne. Transforming your kit with sensors, a drama-friendly audio interface, and the all-new sensory percussion software. First, let's take a look inside the Evans Hybrid Sensory Percussion Sound System box. You'll find three drum sensors, a pack of 12 drum sensor pickup elements, and three 12-foot TRS sensor cables. You'll also find the Evans Portal Audio Interface with the power adapter and USB cable to make it all work. In case you need it, we've included an Evans EMAD based drumhead adapter. Finally, a pair of limited edition Promark Active Grip drumsticks. And of course, a registration code and download link for the sensory percussion software. You'll also need these things to get started. Your drum kit, set up as you like. A computer to run the software, Mac or PC with at least 8GB of RAM. And headphones or speakers to hear what you're playing. We recommend good old-fashioned wired headphones and speakers over wireless options. The first thing you'll need to do is register and download the sensory percussion software. Follow the instructions on the front of the Start Here card found in your sound system kit. Head to the Sunhouse link, or you can get access by scanning the QR code to begin the registration process from your mobile device. Enter the code and hit Submit. Next, enter your country, followed by your email. Now create your account with your name. Then check your email inbox for the verification link and click it. Make sure it didn't go to spam. Then verify your email and review your account details. Don't forget to sign up for news and special offers from Evans and Sunhouse. Once your code is submitted, we'll register your system and you'll have access to the software. Now you're ready to download the software. Select Mac OS or Windows based on your operating system. We're going to walk through the Mac version here, but both are similar. Once the download is complete, a pop-up will appear. Drag the sensory percussion application from this window to your application subfolder found under your home folder in the finder. Once it's done, you're ready to launch the sensory percussion software. Don't forget to use the code on the back of the Start Here card on Player's Circle, Diderio's exclusive rewards program where you can redeem points for free gear to outfit your kit. Your sensory percussion purchase is worth a lot of points, so don't let it go to waste. The next and arguably most important step of setting up your system, is installing the sensors and pickup elements. Each sensory percussion drum sensor attaches to a drum, transforming the drum head into a control surface that dynamically picks up each hit, playing back sounds through the software. Before attaching the sensors, we need to apply the pickup elements. These go directly on the drum head for the sensors to detect, so it's important to ensure they're placed correctly. To apply the pickup element, first, remove the adhesive backing. Line the legs up with the rim of the drum and place the element adhesive side down on your drum head between two lugs. Because the sensor must be placed directly over the pickup element, make sure to avoid placing it where lugs, snare strainers, or any other hardware may block the sensor. Hold it in place with your thumb for a few seconds. Now, while holding, lift and snap off the legs. For a secure bond, keep pressing the circular element down for about 10 seconds. Once the pickup element is applied, it's time to attach the sensor. A secure fit is important for the best results. Extend the clamp arm of the sensor and firmly attach to the rim of your drum, directly over the pickup element. Twist the thumb screw, clockwise, to tighten in place so that the sensor arm closes and clamps onto the rim. Ensure the sensor is parallel to the drum head. If the sensor is tilted up or down, signal quality will be affected. 
Now plug in the included sensory TRS cables into each sensor you're using. When powered, the LEDs on the sensor should light up directly above the pickup elements. Finally, clip the cable into the sensor body as shown. Repeat this process for any other sensors you want to use. If you're using an Evans EMAD based drumhead, this adapter is needed for a secure fit without losing the sensor's fidelity of signal. Attach the adapter, as shown, before fitting to the head. Now that your sensors are ready to go, it's time to jump into the portal and connect everything together. The Evans portal is an audio interface designed by drummers, for drummers. It integrates sensory percussion's many inputs and outputs, seamlessly routing everything to the sensory percussion software, and back out. Perfect for stage and studio, it features a built-in mic for smart crosstalk cancellation and multiple output options for monitoring your sound, so running the show just works. Now that your sensors are set up, take the included TRS cables from the sensors and plug them into the portal. As shown, up to seven sensors can be connected at a time. These combo XLR and instrument inputs can be used for standard microphones or the original sensory percussion sensors. Plug in your headphones and any other outputs you wish to use. The output routing is extremely flexible, adaptable for recording or live performance, featuring main output, left and right channels, auxiliary outputs for fold back or monitoring, two line level outputs, a that output for optical audio, and a MIDI out for use with other systems or controllers. Next, plug the USB into the portal and your computer. Last but not least, plug in the AC power cable and flip the power switch on. If the portal light comes on, you're good to go. Now, it's time to launch the sensory percussion software you downloaded earlier. The software is, as they say, where the magic happens. All the sensor inputs are sent here and mapped to entirely customizable sounds, samples, and effects. Once you're logged in with the account you just created, or an existing account, you'll see the audio setup screen. The Evans portal should automatically be detected and set up with recommended settings. Just clap once or twice to make sure the built-in microphone is working. You'll be able to access these settings later by clicking the gear icon in the bottom right corner of the software. You can also enter command comma on Mac or control comma on Windows or click guided setup in the help menu. The hardware inputs represent your physical setup, so you'll want to add one per sensor on your kit and it's important to set the correct head type and size when setting up new sensors. You can add more drums as well as analog inputs like vocal mics from the hardware inputs panel after you finish the guided setup. Now, it's time to train your drums so Sensory can learn the unique way you play and accurately map each of your hits. You will go over a total of 10 tips to show you around the drum training page, pointing out a few important things. Click continue on the first tip. Threshold filters out hits of a certain level. Ideally, set this as low as possible while still filtering out any unwanted noise. Sensitivity adjusts the software response to quick hits, like buzz rolls. By default, it's set lower for kicks and higher for snares. Velocity curve controls the gain of each hit. Your hardest hit should reach the peak of the curve. Gain adjusts the overall volume of the drum. If your hardest hits just aren't loud enough, try increasing the gain. Make a few experimental hits on your drum head and adjust all these settings to your liking. To begin training your drums, let's first go over how the zones are organized. The stages of setup are broken down by levels. Starting at level 1, with four mappable zones, this is the most basic set of zones and gestures required for the software to recognize your playing. We recommend starting on level 1 and adding zones as you grow more confident with the system and wish to play more expressively. After you've gone through all the tips, it's time to begin training your drums. You can always go back to this training page to train and edit your drums 
By clicking on the edit button you'll see at the bottom of the app's main screen on each sensor input. Next, to begin the training, play a few hits in the center zone, until the bar at the bottom of your screen is full. Vary up the speed and volume of your hits for better recognition. The more information you provide the system, the better it will be able to recognize your play. If you make a few mistakes, it's not a problem, but, if you want to start over, click the reset button. Now, click next zone, or hit the spacebar and repeat the process on the highlighted area. This time, hit the edge of your drum head. Again, switching up hits, soft, loud, slow, and fast. Then click next zone, and make a few rim hits with the shoulder of your stick, until you reach the recommended line on the bar. Finally, click next zone once more, to train the rim tip, making a few rim hits with the tips of your sticks. Your first drum is now fully trained at level 1, with 4 zones. Continue this process for each snare and tom you have set up with a sensor. For the bass drum, the zones work a little differently. To properly train the bass head zones at level 1, first make open freely rebounding strokes on the pedal, alternating fast and slow, strong and hard. Once again, repeat the hits until you reach the recommended line on the bar. When you're ready, click next zone, or hit the space bar to continue. Now, make closed hits on the bass, burying the beater into the drum head on each stroke. Again, alternate hits until you reach the recommended line. Next, take your sticks, and play a few rim hits with the shoulder, just like you've done on the other drums. Finally, repeat the process, hitting the rim with the tip of your sticks. Congratulations, your bass drum is trained at level 1. If you wish, you can increase the number of distinct zones on each head by selecting higher levels, but we recommend starting off simple and adding more zones once you've spent some time with the system. Now that your hardware is set up, and your drums are trained, let's get familiar with the sensory percussion software environment. We'll start off in PlayView, which allows you to jump right in and start playing, tweaking your sound on the fly. Just follow the on-screen tips, clicking continue to advance. First is the hardware inputs and outputs. This is where we were just configuring your drums. You can find those settings and any other hardware settings here. Next is the I.O. panel, which gives you useful real-time information about your connected hardware. Here you'll see the virtual inputs. These display the drum configuration for the current set, and you can click on the zones to hear their assigned sounds. On the far left, you'll find the library. This is where all presets, sessions, and samples are stored, building blocks for making your own sets. On the right side are the orchestration layers. This panel lets you mix the individual volume and pan of each sound in the current set. Up top is the set name and description. When creating your own sets, you'll click here to put it in your words. Towards the bottom are the macros. These let you quickly tweak effects on the fly, and each sound layer can be adjusted individually. Finally, at the very top, you'll find the Session Navigator. This lists all the active sets in the current session, and you can click between them to switch sets. Next up is the Edit View tab, found in the top left corner. This allows you to get under the hood of your sound with a full suite of DOS standard tools and build your own sets with nestable drag and drop modules. Now that you've familiarized yourself with everything the software has to offer, your setup is complete. Congratulations, you're ready to start playing and expanding your musical frontiers. If you need additional help setting up your system, or want to dive deeper into the software and learn how to customize and edit view, visit the online manual at help.sunhow.se. For now, we hope you enjoy your new Evans Sensory Percussion Sound System. Your Sonic Universe awaits.